So I want to create a clock. So I've drawn it up in VCarve Pro. I have the copy, just VCarve Pro. I find it an excellent program. I find it very easy to use. Uh, just drawn a set of circles and I put the names on. There, Proctor Stanton. That's a copy of a clock in the uh, quad of where the gym business I have is. There's a big clock, so I'm replicating this for the internals on my on top of my counter. So I've drawn it out in VCarve Pro. I won't go into that. There's plenty of very, very good tutorials online. That's what it looks like. And if I go to the 3D view, uh, that's what I've got it cut in. I've got it cut in a bit of ply. I don't know what wood this is set to. But we can change all the things set in oak, pine old, pine, it's probably nearer the colour it's going to end up being, uh, black inserts and what we'll do is I'll save the profiles for a Mac 3 cut which I'll do now. Okay, so the machine's now running, it's got the clock face, we zoom in on this uh, Mac 3 in the corner, we can see what the tool path will be and where it's already been. That's two and a half mil bits, and it's running at 12 mil per second, the maximum clock depth. This is the bit I'm using at the moment. That's a two and a half mil cutter. The shank on this is 3175, uh, which is the same as all my two and a half mil bits. These are, these are a new type. They've got a serrated edge and supposedly a down cut. Uh, I'm doing a test on them. They're very cheap. They're about less than 14 pounds. So 13 and a half quid from Amazon free delivery. I ordered them yesterday, they've come this morning. I'm giving them a try, they are coated. Whether that makes a difference, I do not know. Uh, but my one mil are uh, the same serrated look about them as well. So I'll give them a try on this plywood I'm putting at the moment. You can hear the machine running in the background. See what this clock face comes out like. So the machine's finished cutting now, and as you can see, there is a tiny little bit of furriness from that, but nowhere near as much. Uh, quite happy with the new uh, cutters. Like I say, 2.5 mil. Uh, we're spinning at, uh, let's see, maximum on that, so that's what, 22, 25,000 RPM, and it's cutting at 12 millimeters per second and a maximum depth of one mil per pass. I'll get this out of here uh, and give it a quick light sand and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just gone over it with uh, 60 grit on the random orbit. Uh, these are only cut down to three mil. You can still see some <laughs> light furriness. It's if I use this, it just comes off nowhere near as much as the upward cutting bits. I also set the machine, by the way, to conventional cut and not climb cut. Hoping that might make a difference. I am quite happy with this finish, to be honest. It's only ply. This is 9 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint inside here, then sand it back. I have already varnished this wood both sides to stop it warping. I put a diamond hard floor varnish on there uh, and hopefully that should stop a lot of the bleeding of the paint. Let's see. Okay, so it's now dried and I've sanded it off. I sanded it back with a 60 grit just slightly and then I went to a 240 on the random orbit. 
and it's left a lovely finish. I did both sides. I drilled out the hole in the centre to 8mm to accommodate this uh, clock mechanism. And the clock mechanism I got from Amazon and it was about £5.50, something like that. So not a lot of money at all. That's just black paint. However, I did experiment earlier. Uh, if you can see this, this is an epoxy resin and that is mixed with blue glitter. That was a that was a test piece I've run. It's uh, it's okay. It's just a it's a little sparkly. Okay, cheers, guys.